And then, is that me? Yeah, we should be good. Okay, so one of the major things affecting early childhood children, well, early childhood classrooms nowadays, is the controversy between spanking your children or not. And it's a lot about, um, you know, it's about young children and their parents. So it's considered corporal punishment. Um, and what corporal punishment is defined as in beating them, uh, beating the devil out of them, which is a book by Maurice Stress, who's a professional advocate on anti-spanking, so he's against it. Um, it's the use of physical force with the intention to um, commit uh, to commit pain, but not injury, to a child in order to correct their misbehaviors. Um, now, the next question to that is, is it considered violence? And Moy Strauss in his book considers violence as an act that's carried out with the intent of causing pain or injury to a, ch to a person. Um, so in this case, corporate punishment is considered violence because it is intended to cause some kind of pain to correct a child's behavior. Um, in his book, he also says that Advocates of spanking from 1968 to 1998 have gone down. In 1968, it was 95% of parents advocated spanking, whereas now it's 55% of parents do advocate it. Um, and that's basically because of these research studies that have come out proving that, um, that spanking has detrimental effects on children um, in short term and long term. And first, what we talk about is physical attacks. Uh, kindergartners are twice as more twice more likely to um, to commit physical acts in response to confrontation when they've been spanked against when they've never been spanked. So children who are spanked are more likely to um, react physically in situations. Uh, also, it's shown that later on in life, during their dating relationships, they're more likely to commit. Uh, acts of intimate partner violence and domestic abuse because that's what they learned was the way to deal with anger when they're little or to deal with misbehaviors. Uh, also parent to children relationships are the research has shown that if a child is spanked by their parent they're more likely to react to the next argument by hitting back at the parent which then causes more spanking. It's just a cyclical, uh, it's a cycle of violence. Uh, also cognitive development which is uh, the way that a child's brain develops. It's basically just stating that children who are spanked in early childhood are have a lower rate of cognitive development and they develop slow, slower than children who are not spanked, their counterparts. Also, they have higher rates of antisocial behavior after spanking and later on in life. Antisocial behavior includes um, things like they can't feel empathy for other people, they also don't feel bad about their misbehaviors, and they're very disobedient to teachers and adult figures. Now, some of the myths um, against, well, for spanking is spanking works better, and in most cases this is proven untrue. S different things such as loud noise, reasoning, um, those tend to improve behavior better than spanking does, because the child learns from their behaviors rather than just takes a spank and goes on. Uh, they say it's harmless, but it may be harmless short term, but it has long term de detrimental effects. And in many cases, it does go on to, um, it does escalate to the point of severe violence, leaving bruising, cuts, uh, serious effects, and sometimes it's been fatal and can cause death. Also, they say that if ch a child is not spanked, they'll run wild. And this happens in some cases, but a lot of the cases that it's documented in, where the child runs wild and becomes spoiled, is in cases where um, the child does not have the spanking punishment replaced by a different type of violence, a different type of punishment, excuse me, and um, it gets fixed. So, and they say it's verbally abusive, but you become more verbally abusive if you don't spank your children, but in research studies it's shown that um, children who do are spanked have a higher rate of verbal abuse from their parents, whereas less spanking causes less verbal abuse. 
uh, they only spank for serious problems, parents do, that's false as well because um, it tends to, if a parent uses spanking for punishment, they may start to use it more and more often as they, they think what they consider to be severe enough for punishment of physical abortions. And they say that it stops when you become a teenager, but studies have shown that 13, 14 year old kids are still being spanked by their parents, which is kind of a moral issue and it's considered wrong because they are kind of out of that range that people consider it okay anymore. So into even early childhood and adulthood, it's shown that they're still being spanked and it escalates as they get older. So some of the effects are heightened humiliation around their peers because you know, they're just kind of, they're afraid to do anything for fear that they'll be spanked. Um, helplessness and resentment, helplessness from their parents, they, they don't know where else to go, they do something wrong, they get spanked, or um, they don't really learn from their mistakes and resentment because, you know, their parent has been physically hitting them and they learn that it's wrong to hit people, but then they get hit right back for doing something wrong. Um, depression and suicidal tendencies, um, it's shown that children who are spanked at a young age do start to develop um, those depression feelings. Physical reaction to aggression, like I said before, that's kindergartners. They twice as likely, and in later life, to, re to react to, to confrontation with physical violence. And then intergeneral vi intergenerational violence is it's passed on, because when a child is spanked, they learn that that's the right way to deal with punishment, so they pass it on. Um, and then they learn to just endure their, abu uh, their punishment or abuse and then just repeat the actions by, you know, they're like, okay, if I do this wrong, I'll just get hit and then I can do it again. It's not that bad after a while. They just kind of get used to it. So some of the alternatives to spanking that the Mental Health of America Association did um, state was positive reinforcement and rewarding. Those both just basically state that a parent um, can just... Sorry. A parent can reward a child for good behavior instead of focusing on the negative, they fo focus on the positive. Privilege removal for bad behavior, they take away you know, cell, phone, uh, cell phone privileges, computer, gaming, all that kind of jazz. Reasoning, where you just sit down and tell them this is why it was wrong, now what should we do about this, how should we fix it so it doesn't happen again. Timeouts, you sit down, you think about what you did and you actually can work through the mental process of what's happening and then additional chores which is a negative punishment i guess <laughs> um you gotta do more dishes do more laundry you did something bad we have to add something bad on top of it and what taking sides book written by maury strauss also says is that this is linked to a societal crime and that's why it's such a big deal that we shouldn't be spanking children because it is linked to that and um without spanking it's it's good to say that there could be a 10% reduction of violent crime in the future and other crime in the future. Thank you.